Today's video is going to be all about hair extensions. A few months ago, I did a review of the V-Sunny hair extensions from Amazon. These hair extensions were about $50, and so they were really cheap. I wasn't expecting to get a whole ton of use out of them, but I was really feeling down because I had recently chopped my longer hair and was stuck with a lob. And this longer bob, as you all know, takes forever to grow out. At least it feels that way when you're in the process of growing it out. So I was thinking and considering about investing in tape-in hair extensions through my stylist, but I've definitely wanted to try out some other extensions first. So I did a video, and I'll link that right here, reviewing the actual hair extension. And I put it in my hair and I said, oh, I was really excited about it. I decided to go ahead and try the tape-in hair extensions with my stylist. At that time, she had never installed more than two or three packs of hair extensions on someone's head. And I know my head and I know like I have a lot of hair. It doesn't look like it. It looks pretty fine and straight. It's really thick. And I have a lot of hair right here, which if you watch that other video, you will see that when I put it in my hair, you can definitely see just this blunt line. And I thought it was because of my blunt haircut, but it's also because of this big chunk of hair right here. So I did make the investment and bought Donna Bella hair extensions and they were quite the investment. They're gorgeous hair, it's beautiful hair, it's soft, it's human hair, but they're tape ends and they require a lot of maintenance. So all in, y'all are gonna think I'm crazy it cost me about $650, I think, for everything for the hair extensions and for them to be installed. And my stylist is very reasonable when it comes to installing extensions. At the time, I had made a lot of money on my blog and YouTube channel, and I was really proud of myself, and I kind of wanted to treat myself. So I made the investment and did it, but they didn't last very long in my hair. My hair grew super fast. One thing that you don't realize when you're wearing tape and extensions is because of the constant tension of them pulling on your head, your hair grows faster. So you have to go in and have them moved up. When I went in, I was pretty much over it. I was frustrated and they were tugging and pulling and I was getting headaches in the beginning. Couple of things about hair extensions. You will get headaches the first couple of days that you have extensions. When I received my two packages of extensions that she thought would work for my hair, I sent her a text and I said, I don't think this is gonna be enough hair. And she said, why don't you go ahead and order one more just in case, and if we have to send it back, we'll send it back. So I went into my appointment to get my hair extensions installed and we didn't have enough hair even with the three packs. So we ordered three more packs. It took six packages of hair to fill my head. So that means I had 60 tapes strategically placed throughout my head. So this is the hair. And while it may not look like a ton of hair right now, this was a ton of hair on my head. And it did make my hair significantly longer. I will share an image of a video that I shot while I had these extensions in. It looked great. But there were a couple things that really bothered me. And when you have this blunt cut, there's really not much you can do about it. But, you know, you have these under hairs. And you'd have your long hair. And the under hairs would be poking out and poking through. And I don't know if you can see this very well. But your under hair is usually darker than the rest of your hair and it just didn't blend very well. You can probably see it in my picture that I shared as well if you zoom in and take a look at it. That was something that I had to be really conscious about constantly. I had to like tie it back in an itty bitty ponytail or bobby pin it up underneath my hairs to make sure that it wouldn't poke out on the sides right here and it just drove me nuts. So. It's spending $600, $650 on extensions is probably gonna be a no-go for me from now on. I did make a modification to it, and I think that 
you know, it, it's just so much better with the modification. And that is I cut the halo string out and I sewed two extra hair clips in so that this makes it a, just a strictly clip in hair extension. And I probably could have put another one um, in the back in the middle and I might do that at some point as well. But this still was not enough hair for my head. And so I'll show you here in a minute. And see, you can see that the color is a little bit, it's obviously different because you've got a warmer shade right here and I've been using purple shampoo on my hair to make it more ashy. But once this goes up underneath that top layer of hair, you don't even see the brassiness in there. And then this bottom color really bl blends beautifully. But something else that I did, because I am so heavy right here with my hair, is I ordered a second pack of the just the clip-in hair extensions from Vicenny from Amazon. It's about 50 bucks as well. So for those two sets of hair, it's about $100 and it is almost the same amount if not more of this hair it's just wider it's just spread out over here this is all lumped together but full disclosure i only use this hair a lot of times for like videos and things like that but um so i haven't even washed it yet i haven't washed it dried it all of that stuff but i have had people who have commented on my videos and said that they have had these hair extensions, they've washed them and dried them, and they've turned out just beautifully. So we're gonna take a look and see. I have not even opened this package yet to test it, but we're going to see what this hair looks like on my head as $100 hair extensions versus my $600 hair extensions. Okay, here we are again. This is just with the halo hair extension with the halo removed and I had added the extra two clips to it, but I have none of the single clip hair extensions in my hair right now. And you can see how I have this, just this blunt line right here. And I just have like a lot of hair right here. So I'm going to go in right here and use some of those clips to fill in so that it blends really beautifully. Now, one thing that you can do if you don't want to buy the extra clips is you can just buy this halo hair extension and if you're going to just wear your hair half up or something you could do like a beautiful braid of some sort or half up half up do and just kind of keep your hair you know covered that way you can do that by all means but um, for me I wanted to test this out and just take a look at how it looks with the extra hair in there. And again, I'm in for $100. And I, I did pay full price for these extensions. They're not sponsoring this video. Amazon didn't give me any discounts. Vicenny didn't give me any discounts. I paid full price for these hair extensions just to provide them to show that you can look beautiful on a budget if you can't afford the tape in extensions. So stay tuned. I'm going to go put on the rest of the hair and I'll be right back. Okay, here we are with all of the extensions in, except for I think the one clip that I left out was it had three different clips. I didn't really need any extra in the back since I already had the one with four clips in the back. So you can see that the colors blend really well. Um, the length blends really well. And in the back, this is what it looks like. I feel like it looks really pretty. I feel like it looks pretty dadgum good for only costing $100 between the two ones that I got. I will link the exact halo hair extension that I purchased as well as the color of the other clip-in hair extensions that I purchased from Vicenny. And you can check them out for yourself. Also keep in mind that I didn't actually like curl or use the flat iron on the new clip and hair extensions. So they're a little bit wonky, but I still think it looks good. I get a lot of questions about the hair extensions and in my opinion, this is just so much easier. I'm just gonna show you how easy it is to take these out at the end of the day or whenever you're finished with them. So, and then you can see like how different it looks when I get them out of my head. So we're gonna start at the front and I'm going to remove the one with one clip. 
Oh, just kidding. That's one with two. There's one gone. Where I put a single clip right on the front to help fill in that thick spot. You just kind of slide it right through your hair. Close it up. An easy way for these to stay in your hair, when you first put them in, they'll just slide right through. You kind of have to tease just a little bit on your own hair, and then it, you'll have something for it to actually stick into. There was another double right there. These are just little, little pieces of hair. When they were all bunched up together, it looks like a lot of hair, but you can literally just fill in the spots that you need filled in you don't have to put all of them in. If it feels heavy or if it feels like it's just too much, remove some because there's no need for it. Okay, this is the Halo hair extension, the biggest piece of hair that I have. Now you can see the very first one that I put in, which happened to be on the very bottom. This is something that tape ends, they cannot do. You cannot put tape in extensions at the very, very, very bottom underneath all of your hair because it's gonna be hanging down and visible when you put your hair in a ponytail. But you can do it with clip-in hair extensions. So that's it, guys. That's it, all of that hair is out. I'm back to myself. I don't have to wear my hair a certain way at night, which with the tape-in hair extensions, you have to wear a satin cap or tie it up. You have to either braid it and you're supposed to use a satin pillowcase because you don't want your hair to be breaking. You kind of have to take special, special care of tape and extensions. If you can and want to buy tape and extensions or um, a, a weave of some sort, by all means do it. But if you're looking for something just to kind of give you a little bit of a boost or to give you some extra volume because maybe you're thinning or you have a special occasion coming up, check out these hair extensions because I firmly believe that they are a beautiful addition to any woman's collection. Have a great day and I will see you in the next video. And don't forget to subscribe to Perfection Hangover for the sober truth about money, blogging, and business.